So then we started with, okay, here's the brand, right? And so on the back of the brand, can we see Carbiz done better? We decided to come up with these sweaters and go to the shows and do guerrilla marketing and put ourselves in a position where the logo was everywhere. You guys have seen me on LinkedIn. I get all the time. Sean, where's your picture? The picture's not important. The logo, that's what's important. That's what I want people to know and remember. This face is fit for radio, gentlemen, okay? It is not <laughs> All right, so we do it this way because we want the brand to be recognized. People will say, oh, I've seen that logo. Do you know Sean? And they're talking to me. Or we're in a room where someone saw us and didn't realize that who we were because we had our backs turned and they were talking about us at a show, you know? And we were just, we were sitting there laughing because we didn't have on our sweaters at night. We put on our, you know, our going out gear. And so we look like everybody else and guys were, were talking about us. And it's just, it's one of those things that you, you realize early on in this business that people are going to always come for you. Uh, we create the space that we exist in. It's called vendor management. The idea, we help dealers understand vendors, okay? We created that space. Well, as we created it, we saw people come into it. We saw people start work. I used to get so stressed. I'm like, oh my God, there's another new company who does what we do. Oh my God, how is this going to happen? How can we keep this all to ourselves? Then I stopped and I sat back and I just thought to myself, wait a second. We did something cooler than create a company. We created a niche business. We created a business people want to copy. Oh, that's cool.